Hey man, you wanna make some better tracks? Some better recordings? Some better mixes? Well stick around, I got a whole list of tips to help you out. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. This is Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And if this is somehow your very first time on the channel, let me just say welcome, okay? Take your shoes off before you step on my carpet. You feel me? <laughs> this channel aims to build better engineers by making this audio education accessible to everyone. So if you're looking to learn, you're in the right place. Before I jump off into this video, I want to make sure that you have entered the giveaway of a lifetime. Me and Universal Audio plus a whole bunch of other companies including Atom Audio, Antares, Baby Audio, Soundstripe, uh, AKG, JBL, I know I missed some. Me and a bunch of these companies are teaming up to give away over $10,000 worth of studio equipment and software. All you gotta do is click the link down in the description to enter. Don't do it now, watch this video first cause you ain't gonna even know what to do with that stuff unless you watch the video. So today's video, as you see from the title, is gonna be the best advice that you can get as a mix engineer, recording engineer, a music producer, or even an artist, man. I went to Instagram, shout out to my Instagram, at wayne.wave, make sure you follow me. But I went over to Instagram and I actually put this in my story a little while back, and I asked my people, yo, what's some of the best advice that you've ever received as a recording or mixing engineer? Matter of fact, let me see exactly what the question was, cause I don't wanna get this wrong. Okay, hold up. What has been the most important or influential thing you have learned about audio engineering? Now that was the question that I posed. I got a whole bunch of responses from all my peoples on Insta, right? So we are gonna go through some of these. I'm gonna slide through with y'all in real time. Shout out to everybody who actually replied. I'm gonna tag you so that y'all can go follow them, man. If they left a good tip on this Insta, make sure y'all go and follow this person on Instagram, all right? So let's get it. So again, that question was what has been the most important or influential thing you've learned about audio engineering? Well, one thing that Ray Vita Never Lose has said, to train your ears, knowing how to really listen to what you're doing without EG, just making things louder. I don't know what EG is, maybe that's ego, um, but yeah. Don't just be in the studio making stuff louder. That's definitely a good point. The more that you train your ears, you understand what to look for. You know um, what's going to work in certain situations. The faster and more consistently, you'll be able to get those results. So shout out to Ray Vita for that response. Straight Fiend has checked in. So what up, Straight Fiend? Straight Fiend said that you won't get it right the first time. That's a fact, man. This is a process. If you're looking for any shortcuts, Audio engineering just might not be the thing for you. Well, you know, there's a couple shortcuts, but y'all know about those. But <laughs> yes, there is no get it right the first time. Professional music producers and engineers spend hours and hours and hours working on tracks, developing sounds, man. How you think you just gonna go in there and one take it? It's not possible. We've been sold this one take dream, but it's really a fallacy, all right? So let's move on past that. Icky Hybo said, that the recording room or booth is crucial. Now, what do I think you mean by that, Icky? Um, I think that you mean like the environment that you're recording in is crucial. Like, yes, you wanna make sure that you're not around a bunch of loud sounds or a, a very reverberant room. All that stuff is very important to getting the sound that you want and leaving stuff out that you don't want. So yeah, I would say that it is crucial. Next up from John T. <laughs> Sorry if I messed it up. Next up from Jaunty says not to overwork yourself in the middle of mixing. That's a fact. Um, you, you do get fatigued, right? So you wanna be energetic, make sure you eat good and drink the right things to uh, be able to put your focus on your mixes, right? Your, your ears will get fatigued, you'll get fatigued, and you won't make the best decisions if you are fatigued. So uh, yeah, great advice. Plus 48, who has one of the best names on Instagram. Plus 48 says, less is more. Learn your tools and only use the tools needed for the job. That is a great tip, uh, Plus 48. Learn your tools, for one. A lot of people will hit me up asking me, yo, Wavy, should I buy this 
um, compressor. And I'm like, uh, okay, uh, what you gonna use it for? Like, I don't know what a compressor even do. Like, listen, man, learn the tools first. And you can do a lot with just the stock plugins. You can do a lot with the basic stuff that's included with whatever doll that you have. So before you go out and invest more money into different products, I would suggest that you take the time to learn what you already have. And just because you've learned certain techniques, listen to the music, all right? Listen to the music and what the music is telling you. The music will always tell you which direction to go, which compressor to use, which EQ to grab, okay? And where to cut out and where to boost. The music will tell you. So use your ears, learn your tools. Great advice, plus 48. V Whitfield 30. <laughs> if it sounds good, it is good. That's a fact, man. That's one of my own sayings right there. I live by that, man. I don't spend my life looking at little um, uh, uh, meters and uh, trying to see, did I boost 2 dB at 10K on the snare last time or whatever this is, man. I'm not super technical. I'm more about the feeling and I want to get the feeling across for every mix that I do. So if it sounds good, no matter how you got there, it is good. Remember that. All right. Sometimes you got to break the rules and do stuff the wrong way, completely opposite of what you've been taught, completely opposite of what everybody else is doing to get a new creative sound. OK, so if you wind up getting the sound that you want, you did it right. Period. Heat is left. Dropped another one of my favorites. Shortcuts. One word. Simple as that. If you know me, I'm an editing ninja when it comes to getting sessions prepped and ready to go. You gotta be quick with it. You gotta be coming editing ninja, use your shortcuts, use whatever kind of quick keys you can. So learn them all and be quick. Use those shortcuts. IBBCTY has dropped in with another one. He says, trust your ears and, oh my bad. He says, trust yourself and your ears. Now, yes, you should trust yourself and your ears to a certain extent, but also know that there's always room to grow and improve. But you know, and I like to say too, be honest with yourself because you know, when you listen to music, if you if you love music, you listen to your favorite songs, you, know, you have an idea of what good sounds like and you have an idea of where you wanna go with your own recordings. So yes, trust your ears, trust the process, but be honest with yourself at the same time. If you're not getting the results that you want, then you need to find out what's wrong, where's the breakdown, where can we fix this, okay? So yeah, CW underscore engineer says, how to build a vibe with the artist while in the studio. Um, that's a good thing to know. That's a great thing to learn, man. You definitely just gotta be yourself when you, um, it, with working with an artist, make them feel comfortable. Make sure that you are um, in a position of service, right? As a recording engineer, a mixing engineer, a music producer, we are serving the song first and then we're serving the client. So we're here to do whatever is necessary to for the best and the, the better of the song, right? To make sure the song is as best as it can be. And then to bring out what the best that we can in the artists and make sure that their uh, dreams and their hopes and wishes are coming to fruition as they are working with you throughout this process, right? As a, a, a engineer, I feel like our our guide is the, our job is the guide, right? We're here to guide the artists through to making sure that they can reach their full potential with the song that we're working on. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> Nah, you know, this is a great one actually. Need I Say More says, I learned every mix doesn't require as much time if you record it properly. I, I imagine he was trying to say if. And I totally agree with that, man. Um, every mix don't take eight hours to do the mix. It might not take four hours. You might get that mix done in an hour. Again, if it sounds good, it is good. And recording and taking your time on the front end is so crucial instead of rushing through the recording process and, fi and figuring that you're gonna fix it later in the mix so I can do some pitch correction or timing correction or um, try to clean up that background noise. Instead of trying to do all that later in the mixing pro get process, address those issues on the front end and your mixing will be a whole lot easier um, when you do that. So good, good advice. <laughs> Need I say more? My man Billy Larso has a great comment. Don't mix with your eyes. Listen, if it sounds good, it probably is. That's a fact. So many times we'll get caught up in looking at a control, man. I know like when I teach uh, EQ, a lot of times I like to tell my students to quit looking at the damn EQ curve and how it looks on the screen, how it's dipped out here and purple over there, because all that stuff is a distraction. Because if you achieve a sound, um, you're looking at that, 
then next time you're gonna be trying to look for that same picture. And it's not about the picture, it's what sounds good. So if you are boosting 10 dB at one kilohertz, who cares if it works for that particular sound, then yes, use it, do it. There are no rules. There ain't no rules. Shout out to Deshaun DTM. He says Wavy Seals Elite. That's a fact, man. The Wavy Seals Elite, we going through tips like this all the time. It's the private membership group with a bunch of engineers and producers all helping to build each other, man. Uh, we got mixed critiques, weekly Q&As, master classes, a bunch of exclusive content that you just don't get here on YouTube. So shout out to Deshaun and shout out to the Wavy Seals Elite for that one. So those have been some of the tips, some of the best advice that people from my Instagram said that they've received about their recording and mixing journey. What has been some of the best advice that you've received? Let's talk about it. I'm sure we didn't cover everything. So go ahead, jump down in the comments and tell me what's the most fire advice. Let this whole thread be a resource for everybody looking for some advice on YouTube right now. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out wavywayne.com if you need any recording or mixing services or templates even, man. You can uh, go ahead and download one of my my templates today and take your mix up to another level all right thanks for watching be dope